Hello everybody, um, this is the start of a new tutorial series called Server Plus Client Advanced. It's basically like the other tutorial I made for um, Server Plus Client but this time it's going to be much more advanced and much more like an MMO style um, you know, setup. So let me show you a bit of the code. This is a project I was building, it's called um, Pirate Wars. It was more of a learning project than just to test what, uh, what works and what doesn't. But let me show you a few scripts that we might or may not be creating. This is a console script. This is not mine. It's been developed by um, Matthew Miner. Here's the website. Check him out. He's got lots of good scripts. But I used this because um, I wanted to know what's going on in game for the server. Next, I've got title screen, which is more for um, um, the client to log in. Then we got our account structure, that's where um, when you create an account all your account stuff is made. Let me show you how that looks in the server. So let's say I get my character wickened. Uh, actually no, let me just get a random one like Montvi. Right. So it's going to create this text file and then you can see inventory, character 3 and it's just basically it stores all the information in there. So I'll have like my display name, Montvi then my you know level health and stuff like that so that's this so you can add all types of things down here I added inventory and health and position and stuff like that next we got our player which is basically our player script then we got our info this is more just to carry on information from uh, scene to scene such as owner and character name uh, then we got the ship controller which is not really part of the server it's more game <coughs> and we got our game server which is just um, a script which is basically used to decode and you know get get the information from the XML script and write it as well so this script um, we're not actually gonna write I'm just gonna give it to you got it from um, got it from an open source XML script uh, on a wiki for Unity. I, I'm not sure. The link will be in the description box for that. If you want to check that out, that's pretty cool. And then we got the same thing again in the core. So let me. Whoops. Yeah, okay. So the core is much, much bigger. Actually, no, I think I just have the core, to be honest. The core is, has got the same thing. It's also got your um, login requests, handlers, and things like that load character handlers and just stuff that the client requires to work stop servers, the GUI for the server and then all types of other stuff and then there's more scripts down here you know and I've kept everything very organized which is also something we're gonna have to learn how to do because if you're gonna make a multiplayer game you wanna keep everything really organized you know I've got different level areas and stuff like that so um, let me show you this in action. I'm going to start the server. So this is my um, console thing. I'll start the server. You see I get a debug right here. <coughs> Next I'm going to build the client. Build, I mean load the client. All right. So right now it says register, but you don't really have to register. So I'll log in. Uh, let's create a new account, yeah? Mod X, like that. Password's going to be 1234. Create account. File written. So we get a connection from you know my local IP, and we get a file written. Then I'll log in. And then we get five different characters uh, pre-made for us. But, you know... It, they're level one, they're default characters and they tell you your levels and stuff like that and then you get to pick different characters and then let's say I enter game it enters my world here I haven't set this up yet that's why it's just like that but you, I mean you could do that yourself uh, probably by the end of this you'll know how to do that um, let me move that here you can see that I start on mod x character id 0 that's the one I select and then I click it. It reads the file for that character 
and then loads character zero and then tells me the health that was just so I know it works so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing now see you later in the next one we're going to start bye bye